All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Station. Today is a special episode because it's just me and I actually forgot my waders. So um, I was going to try and go on the beach for some bass, but uh, this turned into a uh, black fishing trip because I forgot my waders. So I just went to the tackle shop and I picked up two dozen green crabs. I don't know if you can see them. And um, I have, this is my little bucket that I use once I cut the crabs up, because I always cut them up first, not as I go. Um, cause the first time that I did it as we went, me and Polly spent hours like, <laughs> like just cutting up crabs in between. It just takes a lot of time. So I have um, two pairs of shears, just in case one gets too dull. And um, I'm wearing gloves because green crabs stink. So um, I learned that green crabs are actually invasive and, um, but they're like super abundant here, um, but they're not like natural to these waters, but apparently the blackfish go nuts. So um, yeah, I'm gonna spend the next couple of minutes cutting these bad boys up and we're gonna catch some blackfish. I went to a spot that was pretty cool. We figured it out a couple of weeks ago that there were blackfish there because there's rocks everywhere. And um, I actually discovered the spot because I was fishing for bass and a crab was crawling on my foot. I literally took it off, put it on a bass jig and I put the crab down and I actually caught a blackfish. And um, I actually think we do have that footage. It's on the GoPro, so. <laughs> I just found a crab on the side of the bridge and <laughs> I cut it up because I wasn't catching striper. And I put it on my little jig head and look what I got. How awesome is that? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> That's from like like a month ago. Anyways, so Paulie sent me out with his Spikes Toggin jigs. He's been uh, working really hard this season to uh, develop a couple new uh, lures and jigs and that was one of them. And I was like the field tester for it, which was cool because I absolutely slayed the blackfish on them. It was awesome. And um, yeah, I had the three quarters and um, I tried to use the ounces, but where I fish is just no current. So there's really, um, not any need for anything heavier. It just gets snagged a lot, but um, but they worked out really well. And um, I just like every cast had a blackfish, and um, and that was really cool. All right. <laughs> All right. So this guy's. But our first fish of the day on the uh, Spikes Toggin Jig. And uh, man, look at those teeth. <laughs> it's are wild. I love flack fishing now, and this is the first year we actually decided to like target them. So it's a lot of fun. Let's try and catch bigger ones. We've wondered if we can actually do black fishing with sand crabs, because I think that we saw somebody who was doing it with sand crabs when we were at, um, I think we were at Orient, I don't know, a while back. And um, we saw people fishing with sand crabs and that just seems a lot less messy and less smelly and easier. So I think we're gonna have to try that um, before the season's over if we can find sand crabs. I uh, cut up all my crabs and uh, got to fishing and it was about midway through the outgoing tide that always was a successful tide for me with blackfish um, for that specific spot. I don't really know about um, too many other spots, but um, but it always worked out well, like halfway through the outgoing tide, pretty much till the end of, of the tide when it was low. <laughs> so this guy clearly missed my jig by a little bit. It's a big boy. But look, he just missed it. And so he's snagged on his chin. <laughs> and 
um, there was a lot of bass there that day and I, there was somebody who just like showed up next to me and started fishing for bass while I'm black fishing and I only had one rod so I switched and I put on a swim bait like he was catching them on. Well I lied there's bass here so I just switched up to a swim bait and hopefully we're gonna catch some bass. <laughs> and I didn't catch anything, so, um, but it was fun to try. I thought it would be cool if I could have like a multi-species video, but that didn't work out. Just cut up like almost all the crabs. Got another one. It's a fat fish. They're all fat. It's so cool. I guess that's just how they're built, like little footballs. Uh -huh. It's been a while and I haven't really been catching too many fish um, for the past, like, I don't know, hour. I tried to switch it up. Ooh, this guy might be a keeper size. <laughs> Uh, a big boy. I'm gonna measure him and see um, how big he is. But yeah, these the bite died for a little while, and now the tide. Um, I think it's getting close to low, but it slowed down a lot, and uh, now we're catching fish again. Wow, this guy's heavy. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice fish. Oh man. Look at those teeth. Oh my gosh, this is the nicest fish I've had today. Let's, uh, let's measure him and see. So in this video, I was using a seven foot airwave rod and it's paired with a Shimano Nasky 4000 reel. I have it set up with 20 pound braid and although it's tied direct right now, um, it was, I think I had a 20 pound floral leader on. Um, it just was a lot easier to grab that than it is to grab the braid when I was picking up the fish. And I have Spike's Toggin Jigs on. I was using all three quarter ounces in this video and this setup seemed to work really awesome. video I was using Spike's Toggin Jigs. They are all uh, personally made by Polly and we have them available on our website. If you would like to get some jigs and help support us, you can go to smoochandrelease.com shop and also any of the things that we use in our videos, including this one, we have links in the description below so you guys can check that out as well. You can check out all of our other social media. Um, I am Surfcaster Barbie on Instagram and Polly is Get Real Bass Fishing on Instagram. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you could give it two, I know you would because it was my video for once. <laughs> I'm gonna try and be Polly for our outro. So I'm gonna say, all right guys, so stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. I think the last time somebody told me my name, it was Bob Martin, but I don't know anymore. It's been 17 years I've been back here. They don't let me out no more. <laughs> Take one. Okay. Am I good? Here's a freaking rooster. I need to warm up my soul. It's like lukewarm. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Intense Outdoors.
part of the show when Larry comes out and sings a silly song. <laughs> <laughs> a silly song. A silly song. I get it. You got? I got it. Hey, stop with the gabagoop. <laughs>